When you think of croquet, you probably think of grandma's backyard, long summer nights, and barbecues. Well, think again. Behind me is a field of croquet professionals who have all come to West Palm Beach, Florida. And the only thing being barbecued is the competition at the National Championships of Croquet. This dapper gentleman is Jim Hughes. Jim is 67 years old, and Jim is a professional athlete. Jim is here in West Palm Beach, Florida for the National Championship of Croquet. At my age, to be playing at this level I, is, a, is a real hoot. The game of croquet, the way the pros play it, is a little bit different and a lot tougher than you might remember when you play it out in the backyard. For one thing, the wickets are a lot narrower. The balls are smaller than the wickets by only the thickness of a dime. And to make it even harder, each player plays two balls simultaneously, which are called partners. Red and yellow play against blue and black. The field is 105 feet by 84 feet, slightly bigger than a basketball court. Both balls must be maneuvered through all six wickets twice before you hit the stake in the middle of the field. This is called staking out. If you hit another ball, whether it's your opponent's or your own, you get two more shots. You drag your ball over for the first one, which is called a position shot. The second is called a continuation shot. You also get an additional shot for going through a wicket, which means you can keep playing as long as you can keep getting more shots. The first player to move both of his balls around the course twice and hit the stake wins. You have to learn to maneuver the balls all over the court to put them where you want to put them so you can use them throughout the game. It's just not skill. They can think their way out of corners. More thinking than anyone would dream if they haven't played it. In the first five games of the tournament, Jim Hughes demonstrates his mastery of croquet strategy. Jim makes sure to always keep his partners within close range of each other and the next wicket. After six years of trying, this victory over Pat Roach puts Jim Hughes in the national championship semifinals. I've gotten further than I expected to get, and uh, uh, every game I win now is, uh, uh, is a plus. In the semifinal, Jim Hughes will have to cross mallets with veteran croquet animal Mick Mijas, a former national champion. One mistake in, in this level, and if you get away with it, you're lucky. Two of them, you probably won't. So if you make one mistake, the game's over. In the semifinal, Mick makes the first move. Players score one point each time one of their balls goes through a wicket, plus one point for hitting the stake, for a total of 26 points. Mick establishes a good position early. But then it's Jim's turn. He starts running through the wickets like they were a foot wide. He beats Mick easily 26 to 8 and moves into the finals. What did you just do out there to Mick? I just beat him. I smoked him pretty well. Every time he uh, got in trouble, he turned right around and attacked, and he didn't make a mistake. So now the final is set. The oldest man in the competition, Jim Hughes, against first time finalist Richard Powell. Who's going to win this? I don't want to jinx myself by saying Richard Powell, but I'm, I'm confident that I can, I can win this tournament. I've played him before. He's an excellent player. What would the national championship mean to you? The national championship would probably be the biggest thing uh, uh, in my life next to the birth of my daughter. <laughs> As the match begins, neither player has a clear advantage. Both Jim and Richard hope to orchestrate a break, which means to roll through as many wickets as possible without losing your turn. 
Richard gets into a groove first. He puts together a break and pulls out far in front of Jim. Richard's up 18 to 2, and he's hot. Jim's only chance is to get aggressive. Things get even worse for Jim as Richard builds an almost insurmountable lead of 21 to 2. When it's finally Jim's turn again, his only chance is to put together the break of his life. Slowly and calmly, Jim works the balls around the field. He makes one wicket, then another, and another. Jim's got a real tough shot coming up. Let's watch. And Jim breaks off a piece of something good. Jim is on a roll, but he's got a lot of catching up to do. Croquet matches have a time limit of 90 minutes, and Jim is running out of time. There's a minute left, and Jim needs one more wicket to tie. But before Jim can get that precious wicket, time runs out. Croquet rules specify that after 90 minutes, each player gets one final turn, and Jim is up first. It's do or die. Thinking ahead, Jim sends Richard's black ball down the field where Jim can play off it to get closer to the tying wicket. With a clutch bank shot off the inside of the wicket, Jim ties the score. By staking out, Jim goes up by one point. Richard's only chance to stay alive is a near impossible shot through a wicket all the way on the other end of the court. If he misses, it's all over. And as Richard's ball sails past the wicket, Jim Hughes is crowned the new national champion. Tell me how you feel right now. This is a, a, a really a big high, honest to gosh. That's fantastic. I never thought I'd ever do this. I'm very proud, you know, to, to be in this position. Uh, it's been a big week. Uh, kind of fills you up thinking about coming this far, you know. Is this year's champion? Yeah. By a score of 23 to 22 in the final match, Jim Hughes. I can't tell you how pleased I am to win it. On a personal level, I, I want to thank my wife for putting up with me. <laughs> and my son, who can't be here, uh, is my best buddy. And also my brother, Tom. <clears throat> Sorry to get him out of Jim's a gracious winner, and, uh, and he, he'll represent Croquet well as a champion. Next up, sled dog races for people with short attention spans. Stay with us.